this is our country, people. We need to take back our country. The people who are committing the crime, they're not the large number, not, not the, it's a very small number. Are we going to turn our backs on St. Lucia? Commissioner of Police Crusita Descran Pelius is challenging members of the public who may have information that can lead to an arrest and charge in criminal cases to come forward. That includes cold cases, ongoing illicit activities, as well as gun crimes like illegal firearm and ammunition possession. The island has been embroiled in a bloody battle to wrest control of communities overrun by gangs who have terrorized residents, killed people, and upended families. The top cop underlines the risks involved in allowing crime to fester and proliferate. We will not get the, 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 the health center that we want. We will not get the hospital that we want. We will not get better roads. Because if the, if we, be, we depend heavily on, on, on tourism. There are other countries who, who are doing well in, in terms of tourism. And if we, if we continue in this vein, it is not, maybe our officers won't get paid as well. We need to take back our country, everyone. And it is not the responsibility of the police. We need the efforts of everyone. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force, for its part, has established a crime hotline at 555 for anonymous reporting. The law enforcement agency has gone a step further by rewarding anyone who chooses to share important information that could result in the arrest of offenders. Put in place some code, a special code, so when you give the information, Whilst we mentioned giving you some compensation if you give volunteer information, there is a particular code in place. We have it a way where persons do not know who are, the, who are the ones volunteering the information. There is a code in place, so when you give the information, you'll be given a code and you could determine whether it's a priest. The government has promised to extend the long arm of the law by providing more resources to the RSLPF. The police commissioner says the department is confident that the agency will be furnished with the requisite material to execute their duties. The premise has given us the assurance that the areas that are beyond our control, they will give all the assistance to make, it, make our challenges easier. In terms of holding facilities, holding facility, holding facility, CCTV, the cameras, you know, everything to make our work easier. And of course, I have no reason to doubt that he will give us the assistance. The top cop has reassured the populace that local police officers, who have been carrying out the lion's share of the tactical operations on the ground, will prevail with the aid of their RSS counterparts deployed to the streets of Ufort. The veteran law enforcement officer has expressed faith in the police, the government, religious groups, businesses, and everyday citizens in the latest effort to take back the streets of St. Lucia from the clutches of callous criminals. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.